Hello everyone. In our previous video, we explained the types of workflows in Zoho Creator Deluge. When I was uh, explaining the field actions, I forgot to mention the subform fields. We are going to talk about the subform field actions in Deluge. We talked about regular fields on user input on update. When it comes to subform fields, there are three new actions. One is on add row. The other one is on delete row and then finally on user input inside the subform fields. You have to first understand what a subform is. Here is a purchase order form I created with a vendor name and purchase line items and a total amount. We can have a look at the subform right here. The subform looks like this. So you have the item, price, quantity, line total. As soon as I enter a price and a quantity. I get the line total and the total amount pops up. So if I enter another price, the line total is calculated 200 times 3, 600, and then total amount is calculated 200 plus 600. If you want to learn more about how to set up subforms properly inside Zoho Creator, I have posted two dedicated videos for subforms, and you can learn more about subforms and how to set them up, how to write scripts in that video. To get to the subforms workflow, you hit the subform name and then click on configure field actions. So it will take you to the subforms field action which is placed under field actions section. If you collapse the subform name and expand other fields, you will see the difference. For other fields, other regular form fields, you see on user input and on update. When it comes to subform, subform has its own fields. You will see the fields in the subform as well as two new actions. One is on add row and the other one is on delete row. On add row means what do you want to do when you hit the add button in the subform. Similarly, if you delete a row, you can write your own script in the on delete row section. We are going to see a real time use case with on add row on delete row and on user input of a subform field. Remember there is no on update in the subforms fields list. I don't know why there is not an on update available here but we don't have it. So on user input inside a subform is the same as other on user input fields. First let's discuss this on add row. In uh, any part of Zoho Credit Deluge you can always use Zoho dot all these Zoho variables you can search in Zoho Creator Help Center. When you type Zoho and press a dot, you will get all the Zoho variables. If you are inside a form, if you type input dot, you will see all the form fields, including the subform. Input is reserved for the form, and Zoho is reserved for the whole of your Zoho account. When it comes to subform, there is a new keyword row. Row means this particular row. If you are in this row, all the fields available in this row can be referenced using row keyword. If I type row dot, it will give me all the available fields inside that subform. I'm going to use the row keyword set up a default name for the item. Let's first see how this row item works. I'm clicking on this subform add new and I get iPhone X. Now let's talk about on user input of a field. What I was planning to do here is as soon as I type a price $2000 if I type 2 in the quantity I want line total to be 4000 so I type 2 hit tab and uh, it turns into 4000. So I want to multiply this price times quantity and update the value in the line total. For that I need to use the quantities on user input or prices on user input and then multiply price and quantity and update them in line total. I go to quantities on user input. So this is my script row dot line total equals row dot quantity times row dot price. We multiply quantity times price and update them in the line total. I also update input dot total remember this is row dot line total which is this field we use row because when i go to the next row it can be a refurbished iphone x with uh, three this should be 4500 
so th the difference is the item is the same but the price differs so you want a different total here so when you use row it means that you are in this particular row if I type 4 it's not going to use the previous row it's going to use this particular row that's what row keyword does when we say input it means these fields inside the form I want to total up all these line totals and update them under the total amount field so input dot total equals sum of all these line totals how we calculate the sum is through iterating the sub form I'll post this code in the comment through a gist you can uh, use that code now note this so the total amount is 11,500 if I delete a row I want the total to recalculate if I delete this 7,500 it should be just 4,000 this can be done by writing your recalculation script in the on delete row of a sub form I hit delete and this will be 4,000 and I hit delete this will be zero this is done by writing the recalculation script in the on delete row of the sub form field so basically when it comes to a sub form you have on add row that executes scripts when you hit the add new button on delete row is done when you delete a row on user input is executed when you update a field value inside the sub form thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or suggestions put them on the comments we'll read them all and we'll respond to you or you can also send us an email to zoho at arbrc.com have a great day happy weekend